So this one says, uh, what is the root mean square velocity of a molecule in a sample of oxygen at zero degrees Celsius? Um, so if you recall, um, the root mean square, so we'll do this the quick way. Okay, so the root mean square is mu average equals um, 3RT divided by the molar mass, and you're going to square root that whole thing. Okay, remember, 2 the half is the same as square root. Okay, so um, anyways, the way I like to do this is um, just put it all out in a line. So um, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. But um, let's write down what we've got. So the thing is, is you have to recall that R is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. So that's the ideal gas constant. That's got to be given to you. Um, but you got to remember which form of the gas constant you use. In this um, particular problem, you're going to be using um, 8.314. Uh, temperature, um, of course, since this is in Kelvin, you've got to change your temperature to Kelvin. So the temperature is in 0, 0.0 Celsius. So we're going to add 273 to that to get 273.0 Kelvin for our temperature. Um, and molar mass, right? So molar mass, in this case, it said oxygen. So oxygen, we have to recall, is a molecule, O2. Okay, so it doesn't give us that information. Um, so if we want to know, well, what's the molar mass of oxygen, we've got to look up at the periodic table. So it's going to be 2 times 16.00 grams per mole, which, of course, is 32.00 grams per mole. Okay, so is everybody okay with that stuff? Probably pretty good with that. Well, let's go about doing the problem now. And this is kind of where it gets a little bit hairy, especially for gen chem students, because you've got to remember the joules conversion to kilograms meters squared seconds squared. Okay? So, again, this is velocity average. So, probably you want a good velocity set of units. Okay, so we want to be thinking about that going into this. So anyways, this is the way I like to do it. So 3 times R, so 8.314 joules per 1 uh, mole Kelvin. times the temperature, uh, 273.0 Kelvin. So already you can see that's going to cancel there. And then what I like to do is move that molar mass out to be 1 over m. So when we do that, of course, 1 over m is the same thing as flipping it over. So in this case, it's going to be 1 mole, 32.0. Is everybody okay with what I've done there? Right? So I just flip it over. So that way I can cancel out the moles there. Recall that joules, joules is kilograms meters squared per second squared. Okay? So um, let's convert that. Because, well, well we've got to convert this to kilograms eventually. Okay, so um, we could do one or the other first. Uh, if you'd like, let's just, I guess, let's do the grams to kilograms first. One kilogram. So we cancel there. Now we see, hopefully you can see, well, I'm going to have to get rid of that kilogram. Okay? So how do I do that? Well, one joule is one kilogram per meter squared. Per second squared. Okay? So that's the way I like to do it. So you can see the units cancel out. And then when you do that, so hopefully you see joules cancel there, kilograms cancel there, 
And what do we have left? Meters squared per second squared. Does everybody see that? Let's finish this, right? Meters squared per second squared, but we're taking the square root of that. Is everybody okay with that? So when we take the square root of meters squared per second squared, what are we going to get? Meters per second, right? And is meters per second a good velocity set of units? Yes, okay. So hopefully everybody sees what I've done. Okay, and um, now it's just get out your calculator and start calculating. <coughs> so 3 times 8.314 times 273 divided by 32 times 1,000. And take the square root of that number. And I get, um, so this one is to, I guess this is the only units that we've used, right? So four, so four points, or 461.3 meters per second. So that's how fast the average um, oxygen molecule is going at zero degrees Celsius. Is everybody okay with that kind of a calculation? So again, I think the things in this one that you have to remember, well, there are some keynotes to remember. You've got to remember which uh, gas constant to use. Um, this is the only one you guys know so far, but we'll be getting into the ideal gas equation and they'll give you a new one. Um, you have to remember that joules conversion, one joule equals one kilogram meter squared per second squared. And again, I like to do it like this, kind of show it out so you can see the meter squared per second squared. But um, if you can do it in your head, you don't have to show everything, of course. Okay, any questions before I kill this one?